Hello there. Thank you for tuning in to another video. I am going to be doing uh, my seven month lock video. So I'm trying to film some videos today. I thought, let me just throw in a lock video in there. Um, so it is November 14th. Uh, and I had my seven month anniversary on November 1st. So I'm about seven and a half months in. Tomorrow I am going to be washing my hair after four weeks of no washing. And it looks fine to me, like my scalp doesn't have any um, buildup. Um, pretty much every, twice a week I will oil my scalp. But the last week I didn't do that because I felt it was getting a little too oily. So this last week I haven't put any oil in it and my scalp looks fine. I, I generally would wash every week, then I stretched it to every two weeks. And this time I didn't plan on stretching it this far, but um, circumstance was a two week mark. I didn't have any shampoo. <laughs> and so um, I went and got shampoo last weekend, but I decided not to wash my hair and see what four weeks would look like. And so that was my experimentation. But um, I will wash tomorrow and see how things go now. I plan on retightening at the end of the month or the following weekend, which is the beginning of um, December. One of those two. So, but I think maybe I shouldn't stretch it that far because tomorrow is wash day. I feel like there is a good amount of um, growth there and there's hairs outside of lock so i feel like with washing tomorrow that will just disturb things and make it a little bit more matted so i feel like maybe i will need to retighten sooner like tomorrow <laughs> but i'm hoping not so we'll see um but yeah so i'm trying to stretch to two months between retightening last time i did six weeks and that was fine but now I'm trying to go two months and see what will happen. But I think the more I wash, the more I feel like I need to retighten because it, the roots get fuzzy. And so I don't want it to have any marrying um, any more than it needs to um, because my lock tend to, my hair tends to grow away from the lock or uh, the little hairs, I think, slip out of the lock because when I retighten, I feel like soon after, like a week or two after, I feel like my roots start to get fuzzy. And I can't figure that out. Why that is. But I, I think it's because the lock, the hair, the little hairs are just getting out of the lock. That's what I think. But I don't really know how to combat that other than trying to grow longer and make my hair grow a little bit more so maybe they will stay in the lock more because I don't want to retighten my hair too tight because that just causes tension and another problem. But as I keep saying in one of these videos, that's why a professional would be helpful, but I haven't gone that route yet. Um, still doing this on my own, but I really don't do anything guys. Things have just been going smoothly. I really don't style it other than here. I might switch the part to here, <laughs> but that's it. I don't do anything. I just spritz in the morning every now and not every maybe every other day i spritz with the vitamin e oil and the essential oil and rose water i finally got rose water and i tried that i don't know if it does anything other than water but i bought it so i'm using it and it seems, it seems fine i don't feel like it's any better than using water and oil and the essential oil so that's it but again me <laughs> me as a um <laughs> product reviewer is terrible because I feel like everything works fine. I don't really notice any huge difference. Now the shampoo, the shampoo, I noticed a huge difference. So that's why I went back to my old shampoo because I tried a new shampoo and that just did not work. That was a noticeable difference. So shampoo I noticed, rose water versus regular water, I don't really notice a difference. So, uh, what else is there? So the retightening, um, hopefully I can do it in six hours. The last retightening I did, I think it was maybe six and a half, seven hours. So we'll see. But I don't know. I did get the crochet needle because um, I was trying to combine, because my locks are combined, but I was trying to crochet them because some have come apart and they look like um, 
two-headed dragon so you see like here this is this is the two locks that I combined so it's combined at the top but then it separates at the bottom so I bought a crochet hook um, hoping to crochet the two locks together to make them stay but that didn't work out so well and so I tried combing out one of the locks and I feel like that works better but I just haven't gone or gotten around to me being lazy I just haven't gotten around to um, combing out all of them and, and crocheting them because I feel like when they're loose you can crochet them easier than if they're if I try to crochet these two together right now like that did not work so that's why they're still like this but I did experiment with some back here and then there are some up here that I did crochet together um, so we'll see after washing tomorrow if they stay together or not I don't really have too high hopes because they tend to come out every time that I shampoo just right around the edges here these really tiny ones so we'll see guys um, everything has been going good I mean I get pretty low maintenance I don't do anything special I just spritz in the morning either uh, with a water bottle or in the shower I will wet my hands and just fluff my hair and that's it styling like I said I don't do any styling other than changing the part I don't do any styling I did say I wanted to do another styling video but I feel like that looks better when my hair is freshly retightened because right now you can't really see my roots unless you really pry them apart but like I said for not shampooing my hair for four weeks I feel like my scalp looks great it doesn't look dirty at all so I love that but yeah so maybe tomorrow I will do a um another wash day video because I the braiding and banding I have thought of a new way of braiding and banding so um maybe tomorrow I will show that um to you guys if depending on how I feel I feel like the back is definitely definitely locking feels like locks looks like locks up here we're still working on it like these these are very fuzzy and this I have this one super long skinny lock I don't know how this is so long but I'm deciding I probably won't cut it but I thought about cutting it but I think I've decided to not cut it. I don't know why this one is so much longer than the other one. So I tend to try and tuck it because it, it looks funny. Um, but yeah, guys, things have been going well. So nothing really new, not, nothing really changing, just still getting fuzzy and uh, locking, I guess. It's just, I'm just letting it do its own thing. I don't really trouble it too much this guy is still hanging on there I I still am tempted to pull it off but I'm I'm just resisting the urge the ends are quite frizzy and yeah even on the lock yeah still still quite frizzy but I'm just letting it go just letting it do what it wants to do and leaving it alone that's it seven months down plenty more to go I'm just waiting for things to fully lock and actually get some length where I can style I guess but because I feel like there's not really well there's only so many things I can do right now but that's fine loving the process loving that I combined them um, but I still wonder like what would it look like if I had just left it um, as the 
super small micro locks. Um, I do wonder that sometimes. But I feel like I have watched my um, video when I started to um, split the locks and make them smaller. And I was like, oh my goodness, that was the perfect size for me. Uh, there was no reason for me to uh, split those locks. Um, but, you know, you just go through the process and look back with hindsight is 2020. Yes, I should have just kept them, but at the time I felt like it wasn't what I wanted. So I changed to get what I wanted and then that changed again. So constant evolution. But the locks I installed, yeah, I installed them in November or October of last year, the first set of micro locks I had. So I would have been one month, one year locked already, but that's fine. I'm seven months in now and I am loving the process. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.